Am I the A for telling my pregnant daughter that my husband and I will have nothing to do with raising her baby in front of the entire family? Hello, I am a 56-year-old mother to 33-year-old Kelly and grandmother to 16-year-old Opal. Kelly became pregnant with Opal at 16. My husband, Eddie, and I have always believed in having the right to choose. However, Kelly insisted that she wanted to keep the baby and not give it up for adoption. We helped a lot, as Kelly was only 17 when Opal was born. However, Kelly would rarely help with the parenting, even when she was available. Even asking her to watch Opal for an hour while we ran errands was an issue. It was rare that Kelly wouldn't complain about why she had to be there to look after Opal. Kelly chose not to attend college after graduation. She had a job with a flexible schedule, yet she rarely made herself available for Opal. Kelly was only home to sleep or get dressed for some party. She also relied on us to purchase supplies and book appointments for Opal. Eddie and I would have serious talks with Kelly that she needed to step up as a parent. Kelly would only make empty promises and never follow through on them. Kelly moved out when Opal was six. Kelly comes around maybe once a fortnight and for holidays, but Eddie and I have been the ones to raise Opal. Opal is doing extremely well. She has good friends, plays tennis, participates in volunteer projects, and plans to be a marine biologist after graduation. The school year ended for Opal last week, so we had a nice dinner to celebrate her good grades. Kelly came, along with several other family members. We were all chatting and enjoying dinner together when Kelly stood up to make an announcement. She announced to us that she was pregnant with her boyfriend's child. We already were upset because this was supposed to be Opal's special moment, and Kelly announcing her pregnancy was completely inappropriate. Eddie and I said nothing, and Kelly started to say how she and her boyfriend were so busy with life right now. Eddie and I interrupted Kelly and told her we would have nothing to do with raising her new baby and would not be providing anything for it, supplies, childcare, etc. Kelly flipped out and an argument ensued. Kelly called us heartless and claimed we were willing to throw our grandchild away. Eddie and I called her selfish for expecting us to raise another child. We are too old to raise a baby. Kelly is 33 and needs to grow up. Give the baby up for adoption or be a parent and raise it yourself. Kelly left in tears. Now the family has broken into sides. The ones agreeing with Kelly say that we adopted Opal and are sending a message that we don't care about our newest grandchild. Others are saying we should have taken her aside privately instead of shooting her down in front of everyone. And our reaction was cruel. Eddie and I feel we had to be blunt with Kelly and not sugarcoat reality. Opa likes to show us stories from here sometimes, so I thought it would be a good place to ask for a neutral perspective. Am I the A? Edit. Opal is always about expressing her feelings with me or Eddie. Opal also has a therapist who is available to speak whenever she needs it. Opal visited the therapist weekly during middle school, but now hasn't needed to see him more than once a month. We will be taking Opal on a mall trip to make up for what happened at the celebration dinner. We spoke privately with Opal about this incident, and she knows we in no way view her as a burden. Our granddaughter is a blessing, and many of our happiest moments involve supporting Opal and watching her grow up. But Opal is 16. She doesn't need the kind of constant attention and care that a newborn baby does. We are now too old to be able to adequately raise a newborn baby, even if we wanted to. The biggest problem is that Kelly is now an adult and needs to start acting like one. Kelly is supposed to outlive us. The reality is that Eddie and I aren't going to be alive for her or her children's entire lives. It is why Kelly needs to accept that she cannot expect us to take on her responsibilities and must be independent. 
Edit number two. Several people have informed me that the part where Kelly expected us to raise the new baby was unclear, so I apologize for that. I thought it was self-explanatory, but realize none of you actually experienced what happened. Kelly talked about how busy she and her new boyfriend were with their lives, then began to talk about how grateful she was that we would always look after our grandchildren and how since we had gained so much joy from raising Opal, we would be even happier raising this second baby. After Eddie and I called her out, Kelly confirmed that she had expected us to adopt and raise this second baby as well. Kelly said how she and her boyfriend did not have time to raise a baby, but that putting up the baby for adoption would be throwing it away. She assumed we, at almost 60 years old, would have no troubles or opposition to raising a newborn baby. Now for the top comments. Your daughter has already completely disregarded Opal, making her good news, I have a real baby now, announcement at an end of school party for Opal is some more grade A trash behavior. It's not a graduation party, is it? because that would make it even worse behavior on Kelly's part. You may not have let them know in the most civil way possible, but I'm gonna say not the A, because of how thoroughly Kelly has made it clear her daughter doesn't matter. You may have eventually raised her enough to call it adoption, but that was never the original intent. So Kelly can suck it. Edit add. I completely missed that this was them asking you to raise the next one. Holy effing crap. Utter garbage, these people. I'm glad you said something right there. Firmly, loudly, rudely. They needed to hear it. Really, I would have supported being far more rude than you were. I'm glad Opal is in therapy, and I'm glad she knows you don't see her as a burden. Kelly is the burden. What a waste of oxygen. I was totally prepared to say yes, but after reading this and seeing how Kelly started it with the announcement, she opened it up to the responses. And since she bailed on her first child and during the pregnancy announcement basically laid the groundwork for pushing the next kid off on you and then doubling down, confirming that was what she was going to do, she deserved to be told that you wouldn't raise the next kid. Privately telling her wouldn't have made an impact or hit the message home because you've been there, done that. She needed this as a direct message with witnesses. Definitely not the A. Not the A. Kelly knows the score now and will have to plan her life to take care of her child. And she drew the center of attention to herself and away from Opal. Well, if you make plans in public, then you can expect public commentary. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.